Hi folks! Welcome to another tutorial on using PowerTeacher Pro for assessment and reporting in Edmonton Catholic Schools. In today's video, we're going to talk all about reporting standards. Reporting standards are the general learning targets that will be on the final report card at the end of the year. They're based on strands, skills, processes, or even units of study as outlined in the programs of study. The grade or level of achievement that a student will receive on a reporting standard is programmed to auto-calculate by PowerTeacher Pro. But why do we have reporting standards in the first place? Well, during implementation year, so that's 2019-2020, report cards were lengthy and quite confusing for parents, and they were inconsistent from teacher to teacher, even if they th taught the exact same grade. By establishing reporting standards, every student's report card by the end of the year will be the same length, contain the same information, which will be a summary of achievement for the year. Since reporting standards are essentially the general outcomes from the programs of study, the outcomes that will be assessed in PowerTeacher Pro are the specific outcomes that fall beneath the general outcome in the programs of studies. So let's look at this example. Here we have the general outcome from the program of studies and its associated reporting standard looks like this. In the program of studies, the specific outcomes fall beneath the general outcome and in PowerTeacher Pro, um, the outcomes to be assessed fall beneath that reporting standard. So this is what it's going to look like in PowerTeacher Pro. So the levels of achievement given to the outcomes roll up into an overall level of achievement for each reporting standard uh, like this. So the best source for identifying an outcome that appears in PowerTeacher Pro as a reporting standard is to refer to your grade or subject binder. So just follow along with me here. Uh, I'm at our assessment and reporting uh, SharePoint site. And here we have grade binders for elementary and subject binders for junior high. Uh, and I've put a link to this uh, in the description below. So reporting standards are always marked in bold typeface and have a one in the last column entitled display on report card. Uh, and that's the reporting standard. So notice that if there are specific outcomes listed beneath a reporting standard, we do not use that reporting standard on an assessment. If we did, then that roll-up calculation I mentioned earlier wouldn't work at all. In mathematics classes, however, uh, there are several reporting standards that do not have specific outcomes that fall beneath them. So in these cases, we may use those reporting standards on assessments. A quick tip for creating assignments in PowerTeacher Pro is to look for this icon. When you see this icon, it's a big sign saying, do not put me on an assignment. That's it for today, folks. You've got your reporting standards 101. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call at St. Peter's Center. Thanks for watching and have a great day.